Hey everybody, welcome to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica and on today's video we're gonna be doing a declutter video now and a collection video. So you're gonna see my entire collection as we go throughout the next several weeks, but I'm also doing a declutter. I do wanna give you a couple of items that I wanna tell you about before we go ahead and get into the declutter. So number one, please don't ask me for the products. Um, a lot of these products are older. Th that's the reason why I'm getting rid of them. Some of them are brand new. Some of them are products that haven't been opened yet. Um, I will tell you that if they are older, they will be tossed. Um, a lot of the lip products are gonna be tossed and it, it just is what it is. Um, but anything that is newer or barely used that I believe is still good, I'm going to be offering them to my family and friends first. And if none of those, none of them want those products, and to be honest, a lot of my family and friends don't wear makeup at all, like not even on special occasions. Um, anything that I feel is still good, I will be looking to create a Poshmark or a Mercari page. I'm not quite sure which one yet when I'm filming these, this opening, but I will put a link in the description bar down below. If you are interested in any of the products that I'm decluttering and you wanna take a look at what I'm asking, please do so. Um, the these videos will be posted one a week for the next several weeks i will create a playlist with all of them and i'll put them up here in the corner and i'll put it linked down in the description bar down below if you are interested in looking at the entire declutter for um the beginning part of 2020 please go ahead and take a look this is not going to be a cutthroat declutter i'm going to be upfront and honest with you it is not going to be cutthroat this is my first uh shot at doing a declutter series and i have a lot of attachment to a lot of these products. So at this moment, I'm not prepared to do a very cutthroat declutter. However, I do plan throughout 2020 to give all these products a really good shot. And by the end of the year, my plan is to do a cutthroat declutter. So if you like declutters and you don't feel like this is cutthroat enough, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button because in another six or eight months, I'm gonna be doing another round of declutter series and i'm going to try to be a lot more cutthroat during that one so stay tuned to later in 2024 more cutthroat declutter um another disclaimer i know i do not need this much makeup i don't i know i don't um i i <laughs> Prior to starting YouTube, I had one bag of makeup. That is it. I actually did a video. I'm going to try to remember to link it up above and down below as well. Um, th that is, uh, I have a video where I talk about my pre-YouTube collection. And in fact, I still have the bag. This bag right here, whew, there's dust, um, used to have makeup in it. And that was my entire YouTube or my entire makeup collection prior to starting YouTube. So, and it was that way for years and years and years. That was it my entire makeup collection fit in this bag but i do youtube and um it that is why i have such a large collection prior to starting youtube i had everything in that bag um i only have this makeup because of youtube this is not anything where i'm thinking that anyone that doesn't do this as you know a hobby or a job needs this much makeup you don't if i didn't do youtube i would not have this much makeup i would probably have this much makeup you know what I mean? So just wanted to give you a little bit of a disclaimer there. Let me look at my notes, make sure I touched on everything. Oh, one last thing. Some of these videos, my camera that I'm using had some difficulties with autofocus. It's set up to automatically look for a face. And because I was using my hands and focusing on the products, the autofocus was having a little bit of a problem. So I switched to manual focus on some of them as well. So you're gonna see some issues in the earlier videos um, with the autofocus. I think I've corrected that now and I'm using manual focus for the rest of them. I'm only halfway through filming them at the filming of this intro. So I still have a lot to go. <laughs> um, but just wanted to throw that out there that I know I had issues with autofocus. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. I think it's corrected later on in the videos, but the first few, the autofocus might be a little wonky. Um, I think that's everything. One last thing before I go ahead and get into the declutter, just want to let you all know, cause some of you might be new to my channel. I do have my own online clothing boutique. This shirt actually came from my online clothing boutique. It is nimities.com. The link is in the description bar down below. If you're curious, if not, that's okay too. But I figured I would mention it because I'm assuming that some of you might be new to my channel. All right, let's go ahead and get into the declutter. All right, everybody, welcome back to my declutter series. On today's video, we're gonna be doing eyeliners. Um, I was gonna do mascaras, brow products, and eyeliners together, 
but I have a lot of eyeliners. I didn't realize how many eyeliners I had until I dug everything out of my drawers. So these are all of my eyeliners. I've got liquid eyeliners in here, pencil eyeliners in here, or gel eyeliners in here, and then these are all new eyeliner, or not new, mostly new. We'll go through them. Anyway, just a quick, quick disclaimer, my hands may look different than they did in my opening video and all the other one of my videos because I am filming this on a different night. The only one that I'm going to try to fit in on this evening is my mascara and brow products, which you'll be seeing next week. I think I can do all of that in one video. But I didn't want this video to be a million years long, so we went ahead and split it into two. So today we're going to be doing our eyeliners. I'm going to be splitting this up into keeps for my use, which are going to go over here on this side of my screen, uh, put in a box to potentially sell or give to family and friends, which is going to go on this side of my screen. In the front is going to be my maybes, and I'm going to come back to those later. And then if I have anything that I'm going to put in a giveaway drawer, it's going to go up here in the corner. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and move this box out of the way to start us off. and. I'm also going to move my liquid liners out of the way and we're going to start with my gel liners. So I'm going to actually zoom you in just a little bit and we're going to go through these. All right, I'm going to actually put these in a narrow box real quick just so you can see them a little bit better. All right, I think that's a little bit easier for you to see them. We're going to start here. So this is from Cryolon and it's a eye, uh, eyeliner. Well, these are all eyeliners, um, but this one is... I think it's a sharpening pencil. Yeah, it's a sharpening pencil, and I got this in a beauty box. I got a, actually a lot of these in beauty boxes. I'm not going to try to tell you anything else. I got a lot of these in beauty boxes. I also bought a lot of them, to be honest with you, because I do like eyeliners. I just don't wear them often enough. Um, so anyway, this is from Cryolon. I have not used it. It is just a nice nude shade, um, so I'm going to hold on to that. I'm just going to take it out of the box, because if I have it, keep it in the box, I'm just not going to be as likely to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I'm going to pull up my sleeves a little bit, because I might be swatching several of these. Okay, Let's move on. Um, I'm going to keep all of my Marc Jacobs ones. Um, I really like this formula, I'm going to be honest. I do not have a black, oh yes I do, this one is a black one. Um, I think that's all the ones I have. Nope, one more. Some of these I actually found at TJ Maxx, to be honest with you. Um, but these are all of my Marc Jacobs highlighters. I have one in black, which I got in a beauty box. I'm going to hold on to that one. And then the rest of these, um, I either bought or found in TJ Maxx. Well, I still bought them, even though I found them in TJ Maxx. I think I might have some others in another box over here. Hold on, let me check. All right, I couldn't find them quickly, so I'm, we'll come to that later. This one is in the shade Nice. It is a shimmery silver shade. It's just super pretty. I don't know how well these are going to show up um, in on the screen. This one is in the shade In the Buff. This is, again, a shimmery one, but it's more of a, well, it is a gold. And then I have this one in Deja Blue. This one's actually matte, but it's a super pretty ice, icy blue. Okay, and then we've got this one in Lunatic, which I think might have been the first one I purchased. I just thought that that was super, super pretty. Um, so then we've got this one, which is out of the blue, which is a dark blue. Or I'm sorry, it's more of a royal blue than a dark blue. Again, super pretty. And the final one I have is this one here. It is called Navy Noir. And that one is just really pretty as well. So I'm keeping all of those. Um... Let's get this one out. This is from Cover FX. It's the perfect pencil in G Light. This is just a matte nude. It works really well on the waterline if you want your eyes to like look awake. Keeping that. Let's see what we've got in here. Um, oh, is that another Marc Jacobs? That's another Marc Jacobs, and this one is in the shade. What shade is this one? I don't know. Oh, Jazzberry. This is in the shade Jazzberry. That one is kind of dried out. Let me see if I... I think this might be one that I got from TJ Maxx. So that feels super dry. Um, so pretty though. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Does it dry the whole way down? Maybe if I just kind of like get a little bit of it off, maybe it's not as dry further down. That bums me out because that is super, super pretty, but it seems to be dried out. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. That is a shame because look at that color. That is such a pretty color, but it's all dry. So that's going to go. Okay, let's see. I guess I'm just going to start at one end and keep going. So this one is from Beauty For Real. It's the Eyeline 24-7 Eyeliner. It's in a nice champagne shade, so that's going to stay. I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be hard for me to, to declutter these. Just, just giving you a little bit of warning. This is the I, Joa Eye Candy Auto Eyeliner. So that's that looks brown. Is it supposed to be black? I think that might be. I think that might be brown. I don't think it. I mean, it looks like it's brown, right? Do you guys see that one? I think that's brown. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one right now. Actually, I'm going to put that in the maybes because I don't wear a lot of brown. And I know I have a couple of them in here. So I'm just going to keep an eye out and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't. I doubt I need all these black ones either. This one is from LA Girl. This is the Glide Eyeliner in black. Mm, that one is pretty black. I'll go ahead and hold on to that. This one is from Sugar Cosmetics. Oh, this is the one... Is this the one that has the glitter in it? No. That is a black from Sugar Cosmetics, but I know I recently got a Sugar Cosmetics that had glitter in it. Ooh, I'm gonna hold on to that one. Let me see if I can find that other one from Sugar. There it is. This one I got real recently here. This is um, the Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal in Black Magic. So those are just so creamy. I don't know if you can even see the glitter in that one. But it does have some glitter in that. Um, so there's the black and the glitter. The glitter is on this side and then the black is on that side. Those are so, so creamy though. And they go on so nicely. I didn't even realize I had that sugar one. Okay. Makeup Geek. I really like this. This is in the shade Obsidian. I really like that. I'm going to keep that. I don't know that I need a million black eyeliners. But it is what it is. And we're going to go with it. This is from Starlux. This is the Brown Ultra Lux Longwear Eye Pencil. All right, that feels a lot more stiff. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the maybes. And like I said, I'm just going to look at all my browns and see which one I want to keep. Okay, this one is from Glamour Dolls. And it doesn't have anything else written on it other than Glamour Dolls. All right, so that's a bright blue. Um, I'm going to put that in the maybes because I just don't know where, that I'll wear like an aqua shade. This one is from Jante Blue. It's the shade Electric Blue, and it is a pencil liner. And then I have this Deuce one that is in blue, and it's literally just a shade of blue. They look nothing alike. Of course they don't. I'm going to put both of these in my maybes because they feel a little bit dry. So I think I'm going to end up swatching my maybes again just to feel the texture of them. Here's another uh, blue one. This is from Bodyography. That is a really pretty blue right there. I will hold on to that one. Okay. Um, it looks like this might be a brown. It's from Essence. Okay, I will put that in with the other browns. Okay. Is this a brown as well? This is from Eco Bella. Yes, that is a brown as well. Okay. Um, okay, I think I might have gotten all the browns out. This one is from Jante Blue, and it is the Long Lasting Intense Black, but it has sparkles in it. I'm going to put it right beside that other one that has sparkles. They look almost the same. Can you guys see that? This one is the Jante Blue one, and this is the Sugar one hoping that'll focus. There it goes. They look almost the same except that the Jante Blue is a little bit more gray, just slightly, and it's it's a sharpening pencil rather than a gel pencil. I think the other one was a gel pencil, right? Um, well, it's def that's still a sharpening one, but it's got the pl uh, plastic, I guess, rather than the wood. So I think 
Given the colors that the sugar looks a little bit more black than the Jante Blue, I'm going to go ahead and keep the sugar one and get rid of the Jante Blue because I don't need two pencils that are shimmery blacks. I just won't wear them. This one is from Beauty For Real. It's the Eyeline in Whiskey. I remember getting this in a beauty box and it's really, really pretty. It's brown, but it's almost like a metallic brown. Can you guys see that? It's the second one in right there. Um, I'm gonna keep that. Like I said, that's more like a metallic brown than just a regular brown. So I'm gonna put that over there. This is from, um, this is Intense Black Honey from Clinique. Um, that's pretty. I, it's, that's more of like a red or a reddish brown. I'll still put it in with my browns and we'll come back to that one. Okay, here's another Beauty For Real eyeline in the shade Platinum Blonde. This looks a lot like this one up here. They look almost identical. Which shade was that one? I think that was a Marc Jacobs one, wasn't it? No, you know what, was it? Do I have two of the same shade? Oh my gosh. I do, I have two Platinum Blondes. Let's see which one is more used. Since this is a gel pencil, you can easily sharpen that so I could sell it and somebody could you know, just cut the tip off of it. All right, this one looks like it's newer. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in, in the cell pile and this one I'm gonna keep. Boy, am I glad I put those side by side because I wouldn't have realized that they were exactly the same one. Okay, good job, Jessica. This one is from Style Sepia, and no, I'm sorry, it's the shade Style Sepia in, from Touch and Soul. It had, it's so it's a brown, but it's got like green sparkles in it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up quite well, um, I'm going to put this in my maybes. That's a different shade. Um, okay, so this one is the Makeup Forever uh, Aqua XL pencil, eye pencil. That is like super black. All right, I'll hold on to that one. This one is NYX. It's the Always Keeping It Tight in Brown. This is one of those micro pencils. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that. I don't have a whole lot of micro pencils, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. And then I also have this one from Hourglass, which is one of the micro pencils as well, but this one is in black. So I'm gonna hold on to that as well. Okay, um, I'm gonna wipe my hand. Well, maybe I'll just start swatching on my other hand. This one is from Pixie. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Rose Glow. See if it looks anything like that one. Nope, that is way more pigmented than the Marc Jacobs one. I'll go ahead and hold on to that one as well. That is really pretty. Can you guys see that shade? It's really pretty. Okay, this is the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Liner in black, I assume. And it's, there it goes. I was gonna say it's not gonna come up, but it did. Oh, that's super creamy. Can you guys see that? I'll hold on to that. I might end up going back through at the end and looking at all my black ones and deciding which ones I want to keep and get rid of. This is from Rodile and it's a brown shade. Move my watch up a little bit. Um, that's really creamy. I'll go ahead and keep that in with the other browns. Okay, this one I think is just going to go. This one is the Power Liner from Sigma and it's in the shade Sigma Pink. And I just, if I'm going to be honest, I'm never going to wear that ever, ever, ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Okay, this one is from Urban Decay. It's a 24 seven glide on eye pencil in perversion. And I think, hold on one second. I think I just put this one in my makeup bag as well. I think I forgot to pick those out. Hold on one second. All right, so these are the three that were in my um, makeup bag. So this is in perversion. It's a matte black. It's very, very black actually. All right, and this other one is the Glide On Pencil in Black Market. Ooh, that one's like gray. That one's not black. Do you see that? This one is Perversion and this one is a Black Market. Hmm. It's almost like a silver gray. I will hold on to both of these just because they are a little bit different. Um, but I'll hold on to both of them for now. The Black Magic one might go later on this year. Um, I have this one in there, which is the Glide On Eye Pencil in Love Drug. 
Ooh, that's pretty. It's not as pretty as the Jazzberry was, but that is very, very pretty. And it's not quite as obnoxious as the Sigma Pink is. Not obnoxious in a bad way, but I'm an old woman and um, people would look at me weird if I wore hot pink eyeliner. If that's your aesthetic, more power to you. I wish you goodwill with it. All right, this is the Glide On, on Gel Eyeliner in Champagne from Physician's Formula. I think that's a super pretty color, although I think I might have to declutter this one later this year because it is getting a little bit stiff. I will hold on to it for now. This is the NYX Gel Pencil in Pitch Black. That one is dry. See, it's, yeah, that's dry. So that one's going to go. Okay, next one we have here is from Lorac. It's the Front of the Line Pro in black. Oh, it came out. Darn it. All right, well, I'll swatch it, but I'm not going to keep it since it came out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to swatch with my left hand. It's really, really matte, but since it came out, it is kind of dry. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, this one is from Lord and & Barry, and it is the shade, it's the Strobing Pencil. Let's see how that one swatches. I can't even, I cannot write with my left hand. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. That's really pretty. What, is it like any of the ones over here? It's kind of like this one here. From, um, sorry, it's it, the tip of it broke off and it's kind of hanging out on the pencil. It's kind of like the one Marc Jacobs one, but it's just a hair different. The Marc Jacobs has a little bit more gold and this is a little bit more champagne-y. So I will hold on to that for now. This one is from Vintage Cosmetics and it is the Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black. Oh, that is super creamy and very, very matte. I'll go ahead and hold on to that as well. I know I don't need a million black eye pencils, but just... It's just fine. This is from Flower Beauty and it is a little bit dry. It is the That's So Coal Coal Eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna put this in my maybes. I don't have anything like that, at least not in this box. I might have something in one of my other boxes. So I'm gonna put that in the maybes and we'll come back to that. This is from Rodile. It's the Smoky Eye Pencil in black. Didn't I already have one of these? No, I had it in brown, right? Yeah, I have it in brown. And I don't think I have it over here. No. All right, let's see what that one looks like. I don't need a million black eye pencils. It's this one right here. Um, I will hold on to that. What I might have to do is pull out all my black pencils once I get to the end and swatch those like I'm doing the brown ones. This is in Fool's Gold. It's from Laura Geller. It's the Incredible Pencil. Um, let's see if it's anything. Oh, no, that is very, very gold. All right. We'll hold on to that one. This one is from Physicians Formula. It's in the shade Gunmetal Metallic. So... Actually, let me try to get it on this hand. It's pretty, but it's really, really light. Like, I don't know why it's so light. I expected it to be more, more of a decent silver shade, and it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This one is from Too Faced. It is the Love Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. I don't remember this being, oh no, that is very, very creamy and very, very black. It's not matte, it's more of a shiny black. I will hold on to that one. And then the last one in this box is this one here from Pixie. It's the Silky Eye Pencil in Opal Overcoat. Is there anything that looks like this? Looks like it might look kind of like these ones here. Nope, that's definitely a different shade right there on my knuckle. I don't have anything on any of my hands that look like that. So we'll go ahead and hold on to that one. Okay, let's go ahead into... Actually, let's go into the other box that has, like, new items rather than the liquid eyeliners. So these ones are all brand new. They're all from Urban Decay. The only one that I already have is... I think that's Perversion in here. 
gift. So I can actually do a giveaway on that one if I haven't swatched it. This one is Perversion. I have not touched that one, so I'm going to actually put that in my giveaway drawer and one of you guys will get that one. The rest of these I am going to keep. They're all brand new to me. This is in Starfire. I don't have anything like this. It's a bright orange. That is really, really pretty. It's actually not too far off of that one brown that I have that's shimmery, but it is definitely unique to my collection. I've got this one in Goddess, which looks a little bit like that one, but it's a shimmery blue. That's really pretty as well. This one is in Voodoo. Actually, let's do that over here. It's a little bit different from the one from Flower Beauty, so I'm going to hold on to that one. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Flower Beauty one because that one is very, very matte and, it's, and this one is more of a shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and pass along the Flower Beauty one. And then this one here is in Space Dust. Um, let's swatch that up here near these other ones. That is really, really pretty. It's similar to these ones over here, actually, but it's really pretty. So I'll hold on to that one as well. I am pretty much out of room on this hand and this, I just can't use my left hand very well. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe all of this off and I'll be back in one second. Well, I can tell you which ones are kind of waterproof and which ones aren't. I should have thought of that about that before leaving them on my hand for so long, huh? This is going to be a bit of a challenge. All right, now that my hand is sufficiently raw, I will tell you the ones that I could not get off the most, like I really had to scrub at, were the Marc Jacobs ones. And you can see the Jazzberry one is still on my hand. Um, that was that was rough. My hand is very raw. But even like the other Marc Jacobs ones, now I know I put those on first, but still like they are not wanting to come off. There's a couple of other ones, but those ones were the ones that were like really, really stuck on there. All right, moving on. I've got a lot of uh, eyeliners here. That th This has a lot of new unopened eyeliners in it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep a lot of these open unopened ones. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid um, Eyelining Pencil. They're both, in, they're both liquid pencils in the shade black. Um, this one is the NYX Liquid Black Liner. What, how is this one different than the other one? This one is the Epic Ink Liner, and this one is just the NYX Collection Noir. Okay, we're gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna keep the new ones. Um, an unopened Physicians Formula, I'm gonna hold on to that one. This is an unopened Neutrogena in Spice Chocolate. I'm gonna put that up here in the maybes because I'm having all the brown ones up there. This is a Dose of Colors eyeliner in the shade Sketch, which I believe is also a brown shade, but I wanted to try this formula. I bought this just really recently here, and I wanted to try this formula because I don't have anything else in this formula. So, here we go. Oh, that's a nice brown shade. I'm definitely going to keep this one just because, like I said, it's brand new, and I haven't tried the formula before, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. All right, this one is from Stila. It's a Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I can't remember if this one, oh, it's in the shade Dark Brown, but I think I have one of these open and I think this might be a felt tip liner. Let me look. Okay, yeah, I do have one in black that is already opened and that is definitely a felt tip, not my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the black one since I already have it and it's definitely, very pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and actually put this one in my giveaway drawer. Um, so one of you guys will get this. It's in the shade dark brown. But again, it is a felt tip liner rather than a um, brush liner. I'm going to wipe that off before it sets too hard on my hand. Okay. Um, a lot of these are brand new. This one is from Makeup Forever. It is in the shade Wherever Walnut. It is a almost brown shade. I'm going to go ahead and hold, I'm going to put that up here in the maybes with my other browns. 
This is a backup of the one and a half millimeter hourglass eye pencil. I'm only going to hold on to this because it is so expensive and I don't remember when I bought it. It's been a while. So I don't want to try to sell this or give this away because it has been a while that I've had it, even though I haven't opened it. So I will hold on to that one. Um, here's a Jante blue in dark brown. I'm going to put that in with my browns. We'll come back to that. This is a Persona in the shade brown. This is brand new. I think I have another shade in here as well from Persona. Maybe, maybe not. I have a brow pencil in here. Let's get that out of there. All right, well, it's, it's in the shade brown, so I'm going to put it in with my other browns, even though it's brand new to me. I'm going to put it in with the browns, and I'll come back to that. Um, I have several of these that are actually not even open. So this is the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Black Brown. Um, I have definitely swatched this one. So that one's a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one. This one is in, this is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Moray. That is unique to my collection. I don't have any other green eyeliner, so I'll hold on to that one. I say that and then this next one is a green and then this one is a green is that it I think that's it so I have these two are well this one is NYX and this one is Stila this one is in the shade turquoise did I get rid of one of something like that already or did I hold on to that maybe I didn't have anything like that okay this one is in the shade aqua green that's pretty I went through a phase where I bought a bunch of like super colorful eyeliners. So we'll hold on to those two. That's unopened. I'm just going to put the unopened ones off to the side here for just a minute and we'll come back to those because I went on like a shopping spree of eyeliners the one year in Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. There's another Marc Jacobs in black and I have used this one so that one's dry too so i bought these small ones from tj maxx same where that jazzberry came from or raspberry came from so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because that's really dry the other one i know is is newer all right i'm gonna go ahead and keep this one this is the inner rim liner from tarte and it's just a um cream shade it's like a fake awake kind of a thing keeping that okay it's unopened Opened. Okay. Unopened. Unopened. Okay. Um. So this is from Laura Geller. It's the Brown Eyed Girl. So this is a brown. I'll go ahead and well, I haven't swatched that one yet. I well, I'm, I will hold on to that. I'm going to swatch that with the rest of my browns. This one is the Laura Geller in Blackbird. I haven't swatched that one yet either. What was the Laura Geller one that I already had? I think it was a different shade. Yeah, the other one that I already had is gold. So let's do this black one here. That is really, really creamy. I'll hold on to that one. Like like I said, I need a million black uh, eyeliners. Um, this one is also from Persona. This is the shade Plum. Oh, that's pretty. It's still like a brown, but it's not as deep a brown. I'm definitely going to hold on to that one. It's a little bit different. Um, this is another small Marc Jacobs, which I got in that same set with the raspberry and the black, and that is super dry as well, so that one's going to go. Okay. Um, this is a Laura Geller Classic Tip Liquid Liner. Oh, it is a liquid liner. Oh, this is a, this is a felt tip, though. It's still brown. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that, because I'm not sure if I have any other brown liquid liners there's another little mini I must have been a four piece set this one is in the shade uh, introvert it describes me to a T and it's super dry so it's gonna go so part of the reason why I wiped off my hand every time I tried one of those Marc Jacobs ones is because that was the one that was hardest to wipe off okay um, Alright, we're 
getting down to the last couple in this box. So we've got a Maybelline Lasting Drama in Sleek Onyx. Ooh, that is really, really creamy. I'll hold on to that. Again, I'm going to have to go back through my black ones a second time. This one is Stila in Purple Tang. Hmm, that one's a little bit dry. I'm going to put that in the maybes. I'll come back to that one. But it's really pretty. It's 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 almost duochrome -y. Very, very pretty. This one is from NYX, and it is in the shade Purple. Okay, that one is definitely dried out. That one's going to go. Um, this is in, this is a NYX in the shade white. That one is not as dried out. I'm going to put that in my maybes. This one is Ulta in the shade Golden Eyes, I think is the shade. That's pretty. Keep that. This is from Tarte. It's the Man Eater liner. Oh, you got to turn it. Okay. That is not as black. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my cell pile. This one is from Collab. It's the Killer Coal, and I've accidentally bought a, this in white. Um, I'm going to put that in my maybes, and I will decide between that and that other white that I have. This is Stila, and it's in the shade Tetra. That's very pretty. It's very similar to that other one that I have um, that I think I put in the maybe pile. I'll go ahead and hold on to that one. This is from Ulta, and it's in the shade Starlet. I'm going to put that in the maybes because it's a little bit dry. This one is NYX in the shade Deep Purple. That one actually feels really nice. Um, I'm going to put that in the maybes as well. This is Stila, and it's in the shade Metallic Umber. I like that one. That one's pretty, so I'll hold on to that one. This is Stila in the shade Bluefin. Oh, that is really pretty. Hold on to that one. I don't really need all these, but it's fine. This is the NYX in the shade Deep Blue. Um, I don't think I need that one. I have lots of other blues, so I'll go ahead and pass that one on. This one is a Stila in the shade Graphite. I'll put that in the Maybes. This is a Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner in the shade Navy Shock. That is really, really pretty. That is super pretty. I will hold on to that one. I don't know that I have any other liquid liners in a dark blue. This is a CoverGirl one in, I think this is a black one as well. That is definitely black. Um, I will hold on to that one as well. All right, so this box is empty. I did, however, put all of these in the front here. These are all unopened ones, so let's talk about them for a minute. This one is the Liquid Coal Waterproof Liquid Liner from Seraphine. Um, I'm going to put that in the maybes. I will look to see if that is a felt tip liner or a pencil or a, I'm sorry, brush liner. I'll come back to that. Okay, so these. this is the Ulta liner in golden eyes. I thought I had this. Didn't I just swatch an Ulta liner in golden eyes? I did. Okay, that's going to go in my actual giveaway drawer in the front corner here. Um, this is the NYX in black olive. This is the Ulta one in moss. Those are both greens. This is the NYX in the shade tropics. This is the Ulta one in the shade Cobalt. This is Ulta in the shade Indigo. Ulta in the shade Grape. Ulta in the shade Bronze. These are both liquid Kat Von D liners. This is my favorite liquid liner. So I'm going to hold both of the, onto both of these. These both came in beauty boxes. Um, they 
neither one of them well this one came wrapped this one didn't come wrapped but i didn't open it because i already have one open so i'm gonna keep those um these are both ulta eyeliners this is in majesty and smoke and this one is in blackout and plum um this is the sephora liner in iced out so i don't even know what shade that is these are from wet and wild they are in the shade this is a metallic liquid eyeliner this one is in the shade sea dreams and the gray one is trident's shimmer this is a wet and wild one glitter eyeliner in the shade blue and this is the nyx studio liquid liner studio effect in the shade extreme black is this one i already put over there no all right these are all on open i'm gonna put these back in this box i'll come back to them then this is the urban decay razor sharp liquid eyeliner in the shade deep end and this is the same in the shade chaos I think the part of the problem is, is that I don't use them because they are in their boxes. Gosh darn it. I think this is the eyeliner that everybody said they use um, as like an all over this lid shade. Aren't they pretty? They're green and a blue. They're super pretty. I'm going to hold on to these as well. Get rid of the boxes. Okay, all of these new ones I am going to hold on for now. They are all sealed, but... For now, I'm going to hold on to them all. I will make a decision later on this year when I go through this again. If I have not opened them, I will look to get rid of them. But I'm going to really try to try some of these um, much more than I have in the past. So those I'm going to keep. Um, they're not going to go in the maybes. I'm just going to keep those. All right. And then finally, we've got this. This is from St. Lux. This is an eyeliner trio. I just got this in a beauty box. And it came in nude, charcoal, and bronze. And I haven't tried any of them. But I think I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to these three. I'm just going to take them out of their boxes and, or out of the box and put them in with my open eyeliners. Okay. I'm going to come back to the pots. Let's do that. This one is the super skinny eye marker from NYX in carbon black. And it is actually really skinny, but it is a felt tip. And I just don't like felt tips. Um, that's going to be a maybe. This I just purchased. I haven't even opened it yet. It's the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner in black. I have not even opened this yet, so I'm not going to swatch it at the moment. But I'm going to hold on to that because I haven't tried it. This is the Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. It is a brush, and it is in like a diagonal shape. And I'm going to keep that one. Um, I also have the original Trooper Eyeliner. It's a brush as well. My favorite liquid eyeliner, easiest one for me to use. I'm going to definitely keep that. This is the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner with a brush tip. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. But it's almost more of a gray than a black. It's pretty. It's just not as black as the other ones. I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, this is the Physician's Formula in what is this ultra black it's not very ultra black though but i do like this one as well hence the reason why i have a backup of that one already um this is the nyx vivid brights in vivid pink this one might go because i just don't know that i'm going to use a bright pink and i'm not quite sure where i got this from but i think that that one is going to go it's just not something that i would normally wear um, this is from Starlux Pro. It's the Lux Pen Artist Edition. I think this is the one that has the stamp. It is. So it's got a little star stamp, which is, you know, kind of cool. And then on the other side, it has a marker. It's a felt tip. It's super fat. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just never going to use it. I mean, the star is kind of cool, but I'm just never going to use it. This is the Rimmel Col Color Precise in white. And this is a felt tip not going to use that one that one's going to go too this is the ico skinny in black and again it's a felt tip although that is really really black but it's a felt tip i don't like felt tips i'm going to get rid of that one this one is from jesse's girl and i bought this because kathleen light said it was really good and it is a brush tip and it is really good i'm going to hold on to that one this one is from Architect, LA, LA Splash Architect, 
and it is, I'm assuming, the shade black. Is it a brush? It is a brush. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess it looks black. I'll hold on to that one. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. It is a felt tip. I'm going to go ahead and it bleeds. Like literally, I just barely put it on and it bled. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the Kaleido Cosmetics. Again, a felt tip. Going to get rid of that one. This one is dropping. This is BA Bombshell Onyx Eyeliner. Holy moly. Do you see how thick that felt tip is? Good lord. And it's dried out. So that's going to go. That is crazy. Okay. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Graphic Liner. And again, a felt tip. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I know some people love felt tip pens, uh, markers, but I just, I just don't. This is the Joa I'm So Fly Liner. This is a brush tip. Okay, that's kind of weird. When I go over it, it kind of comes up a little bit. I'll hold on to it for now. I'm going to give all these another try, and if I don't want to keep it, I will get rid of it. This is the Wet and Wild Mega Liner in C Cement Tree. Cement Tree. I don't know why there's an N in there. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I will hang on to that one for now. It may go later on this year when I do a more cutthroat declutter, but I'm going to hold on to that for now. This one is the Insanely Intense Tattooed from Scone, and that is a very large felt tip, and it bleeds like the dickens, so that one's going to go. Okay, I have these two from Tarte. They're the Tarte Eye Jewels. Half of it is glitter and a glitter eyeliner, and half of it is a just regular eyeliner, I guess, metallic eyeliner. Let's see if they're any good. These might not be any good. I've had these for quite a while. There is the silver. And... Oh, that is just a glitter. It's literally just a glitter. Um, I think, honest, if I'm going to be honest with myself, I don't even remember why I purchased these. I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these because I just don't see myself using them, like, at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Um, this one is from Butter London. It's the Stroke Wow Roll-On one. This is the one that's a little wheel. It is very patchy. And it's hard to go over the same line twice. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that because it's patchy. All right, just a few left, but I do need to get these off of my hand. All right, the winner on this one is that wet and wild one. My golly, that one doesn't want to come off at all. And for the sake of my time here filming, I'm going to go ahead and not worry too much about that. Oh, I was able to get it off. I still have some of that jazzberry over here, though. That sucker didn't want to come off at all. Okay, um, all of my... Oh, no, I missed one. Whoops. Let's get these out of here real quick. This is from Wet n Wild, and this is in the shade Gunmetal. Um, it's pretty, but honestly, I just don't think I'm going to use it. Where did those other ones go? All right, I have this other one here that is a shade blue that's a glitter eyeliner as well i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this in my giveaway drawer because i'm just not a huge fan of glitter eyeliner so that's gonna go in my giveaway drawer and i'm gonna just get rid of this one all right my pot liners let me grab a brush real quick and we'll get this one going all right i grabbed this little eyeliner pencil that i got with a kiss eyeliner which i don't even think i have anymore let's go into the bh studio pro i've had this for a little while See if it's still good. I would say that that is still a good eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one. Okay. There's this pretty vulgar one. This one actually looks like it might be dried out. Oh, no, it is not. 
Holy moly. I thought it might be dried out, but no, it is not dried out, and that is very, very black. I'll hold on to that one as well. Okay. That's actually that's actually really nice. I think I think I'm gonna actually hold on to the pretty vulgar and get rid of the BH Studio. Let me swatch the BH Studio one again. It's still really, really creamy, but it's just not it's just not as black as that pretty vulgar one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the BH Studio and I'll hold on to the pretty vulgar. Um, this one is from Bang Beauty and it's the chocolate gel eyeliner and I have used this a little bit there's actually some taken out here and it looks like it's dry yeah I think this is dry this oh yeah this is totally dry like it you can't even I I'm, can't even really get my finger in it that is very very dry okay so this one isn't one that you have to like wet or anything right like I know this Suva Beauty one you're supposed to wet. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use this one. Well, it's no good anyway, right? So let's try. I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, setting spray and see if I can get it to uh, get more wet. All right, I'm just going to use some of this Smashbox primer water. See if I wet it. If that helps. I don't know. It might not and it might. Nope, not even in the slightest. So this one is gonna go in the garbage. Okay, that one is just garbage. We'll get rid of that one. Okay, this Smoky Quartz ink. I actually had to throw one of these out earlier today. I got these on clearance at TJ Maxx. Not earlier today, earlier this, like a couple months ago. I don't even know if this has, has any in it. Um. It is barely there. I don't even think the camera's gonna pick up how little that is. So this is gonna go in the garbage as well. Actually, let me just try to use my finger to see if I can get any, i trying to see which one has the least amount of fingernail. Nope, 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 nope. That one's gonna go. All right, and that leaves me with just the very last one is the Suba. Uh, Beauty Hydro Liner in the shade Gold Digger. And this one is the one that you need to get wet in order for it to be usable. So I did wipe my brush on my makeup wipe. Now I don't know if that is a good idea or a bad idea, but nonetheless, my brush is wet. Let's see if I can get any of this off. I just think that this is probably too much work to be honest with you. I don't know if that was the right idea or not. Are you supposed to put that much in it? I don't know. Well, now that I really wet it though. Honestly, I just feel like that's too much work for too little payoff. be pretty pretty as a cream shadow though um i'm gonna put this in the maybes so i'll come back to that in just a minute all right so for my liquid liners i am keeping the joa these are all black liners basically the joa the la splash the jesse's girl the Physician's Formula, the M Cosmetics, the Kat Von D Trooper, the Kat Von D Dagger, the Roller Liner from Benefit, the Pretty Vulgar. The only felt tip that I'm keeping is the Stila. I probably should get rid of that one too, but I might as well keep at least one. And then I have a couple of other of the Kat Von Ds. These are unopened ones. And then I have these two, the Razor Sharp Liquid Liners. Let's open one of them and give it a swatch. Ooh, it's the wrong end. I thought it was going to be the other end. 
This one is in the green. Okay, let's swatch the blue one too. That one is completely dried out. Doesn't that stink? Brand new and it's completely dried out. Literally completely dried out. All right, so that blue one's gonna go. Well, that was a waste of money. Let's try this green one again. All right, we'll keep, go ahead and keep that green one. Give that a try. And then I've got this wet and wild green one, this blue, navy blue Revlon, and the black uh, one from CoverGirl. All right, so that's all my liquid liners that I'm keeping. Let's go back to my maybe pile and talk about these. So I've got this super skinny marker from NYX. And it is super skinny, but it is a felt tip. Um, where those other new ones go? I have these other two from NYX as well. Yeah, just the two from NYX. I don't know if these are pencil or, you know what? The Epic Ink Liner might be a felt tip. It does not say. Let me look it up online. So it looks like this NYX one here is a little brush. So that's definitely different. But this Epic Ink Liner might be a felt tip. Hold on. All right, so this says that it is a felt tip. This super skinny eye marker is a felt tip. The only felt tip that I kept was the Stila. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these, even though I really don't need another liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so that's what my liquid liners ended up looking like there with those four added. So we'll go ahead and keep those. All right, I think I'm gonna pull aside all of my black eyeliners. These are all my like new unopened ones that I'm gonna just go ahead and keep the whole box. Um, let's do that. I'm gonna pull out all of the black liners and we're just gonna look at them all and decide what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. I don't think, do I have any other black ones in here? I think this one was brown, wasn't it? I think that one's brown. So we'll put the browns over here. I will be right back. All right, so here are all my black eyeliners. Here are all my brown eyeliners. Let's just go through and compare all the black eyeliners. Let's do that. I'm gonna start with my Marc Jacobs. I love that formula. Okay, the next one, actually let me put these in another box in the order that I use them so I don't mix up the order. Next one is gonna be the It Cosmetics. All right, that one is a little bit drier, so I'm gonna put that over here as a maybe. This one is the Rodile, or Rodial. That is brown. Why is it in with my blacks? Gosh darn it. I'll be back to that one. This, let me get rid of that one. All right, this one is the Hourglass. Actually, this one is empty, just about. There's like one usage left in this one. And then I do have that backup. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this one because literally there it's it's empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I had that other one that I, I will keep though. So this one's gonna go, it's empty. This one is Makeup Geek. That one feels super nice. We're gonna hold on to that one. Okay, this is from Pop Sugar, or I'm sorry, Sugar Cosmetics. That one feels amazing too. This one is also from Sugar. This one is the one that has the glitter in it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that one just because I don't have any other that look. I, kept, I got rid of the other black one that had glitter in it. 
This one is the LA Girl. That one's a little bit drier, so I'm going to put that as a maybe as well. If you guys can't see, I have all the ones that I really like to this side, and then the ones that are maybes I have pulled over this way. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama. Oh, that is so good. That might be the creamiest one I picked up. This Maybelline Lasting Drama one might be the creamiest one I've picked up. This is the Urban Decay Perversion. That's super creamy as well. I'll go ahead and swatch the Urban Decay Black Market, which is just, it's more of a gray, honestly, than a, than a black. All right. Then let's go with the Laura Geller in Blackbird. Um, not as wild about that one. This is the Make What... Makeup Forever Aqua XL. That one's a little bit drier as well, so we'll hold that one up here. This is the Too Faced Perfect Black. That one feels really nice. And it's a little bit shinier than some of the other ones. Okay, this is the Rodile or Rodial in Black. That one's a little bit drier as well. This is the Ulta one in black brown. That one's just a little bit different of a color. And the Vintage Cosmetics one. Okay. Now, the question is, which ones do I hold on to and which ones do I get rid of? Well... I think what I'm just going to go ahead and do is get rid of the, what, five that I said were a little bit drier. Let's pull those five out, and I'm going to swatch those one more time. That leaves me with ten black pencils. So let's go ahead and do these real quick again. This one is the It Cosmetics. Yeah, it's just a little bit drier. This is the LA Girl. That one is super creamy. Why did I hold that one as a maybe not? I like that one. The Road Isle. Yep, that one's a drier formula. The Makeup Forever. Yep, that one's a little bit drier. And then the Laura Geller. actually not too bad. I'm going to put this in the maybes and we'll come back to that one. So these three I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Sorry if, if it's not focusing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep those black ones. Let's talk about the browns. So these are my brown ones. We'll swatch these ones as well. And this Neutrogena one, it's supposed to be in Spiced Chocolate. I think I'll go ahead and hold on to this just because it's brand new. I'll put it in with the other brand new ones. All right, the first one here is, oh, that's a, a felt tip. I don't have any other brown liquid liners, so I will go ahead and hold on to this one even though it's a felt tip. Okay, this one is from Clinique. It is the Quick Liner in Intense Black Honey. That is pretty. this one empty? It doesn't look like it's empty, but it doesn't look like it's... Oh, okay, there it goes. It just was taking a minute to go up. Okay, this next one is from Essence. It's the Kajal pencil in Teddy. That one is a little bit drier. We'll hold that one up to the top here. This next one is from Makeup Forever and it is in the shade Wherever Walnut. That one is just a little bit different of a shade. This is from Jante Blue in the shade Dark Brown. That one is a bit of a drier one. The Star Look in Brown. That one is dry, like really dry. Okay, 
The next one is the Laura Geller in Brown Eyed Girl. That one has some glitter in it, so that's definitely a different one. And that one's really creamy. I don't know why the black one wasn't as creamy as the brown one and the golden one. This is from Persona. And this is brand new to me. It is a drier formula, but since it's brand new, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it and give that a try. This is the Rhode Isle in brown. Again, a little bit of a drier formula. And this is the Joa in brown. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. I think the only the three that I hold aside are the ones that like are a drier formula are the essence one. Let's swatch it again. Yep, that's a little bit drier. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. This one is from Starlux. Yeah, that's just a little bit of a drier formula. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Not that these are bad. Like, these aren't bad. They're just not my favorite. They're like, the, if they're a little bit drier, they're just not as not my favorite. Okay, the Rodile one, or Rodial, that's not that bad. All right, so I'll go ahead and hold on to these brown ones. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brown. Okay, let's talk about the Laura Geller Blackbird one. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass this one on. Okay, the remaining maybes. Let's do the two white ones beside each other. This one is the NYX. And this one is the Collab. Um... The Collab is like a softer white, if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. It does have its own little sharpener inside, which is kind of cool. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the NYX one and keep the collab just so I have like one white mark or white pencil. Okay. These are us. I did. Let me look up this liquid coal one to see if this is a felt tip or a brush tip. All right, I'm not going to open this, but I am going to hold on to it. On the website, it says that it is a rubber flex tip. So it's kind of like a felt tip, but it moves like a brush tip. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one. This is the Style Sepia in from Touch and Soul. It's a green. It almost looks brown and green, so it's a little bit different. I'll hold on to that one. This is the Ulta in Starlet. That one is just a little bit drier. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. This one is the Stila in Graphite. That's really pretty. I don't know that I have anything in quite that shade, so I'll hold on to that one. The NYX in Deep Purple. That one's just a little bit drier. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one, too. The Jante Blue. Again, just a little bit dry. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. This one is the Echo Bella. Is this a brown? Did I mix, miss this one? I did. But it is kind of on like the drier side, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that one too. The Deuce in blue. I have to actually uh, sharpen that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I just don't see myself wearing that color. This is the Stila in purple tang that is really really pretty it's a sparkly purple I will hold on to that one for now and then this last one is the glamour dolls and this one is in blue as well I just don't see myself wearing that shade so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one all right that oh the last one is the Suva Beauty Hydra liner in gold. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this on because if I'm honest with myself, I'm just not going to use it. So let me calculate everything up and I will let you know what my numbers look like. All right, for my ones that are going in my giveaway drawer, I have four of them here a Wet and Wild, an Ulta Beauty, a Stila, and a Urban Decay. So four are going in my giveaway drawer.
Right, so the ones that I am either throwing out or trying to sell comes to 45. So that's where I'm at there. And let's count how many I am keeping. So this is my final keep pile and it comes to 96 eyeliners. So yeah, that is probably way too many, but I am going to say that considering I got rid of basically 50, it was 49, so basically 50 eyeliners, and I'm keeping 96, I got about, got rid of about 30%, so that's actually better than I thought I was going to do. So overall, I'm not disappointed in this uh, declutter at all. I'm actually really pleased with it. Um, you guys might think that I did a really bad job, but for me, getting rid of a third is actually pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So... That is it for my eyeliner declutter. I know this is a longer one. Sorry about that. It is what it is. I just have way too much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I upload new videos. And if you have any comments, put those in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you all. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye, guys.